At the start of this year, Mazda unveiled the new game-changing 2024 CX-90 three-row SUV that has astounded automakers with its mind-blowing features. But among this SUV's impressive features, one thing stands out, its super engine. Described by the company as its most potent engine, the all-new 3.3-liter turbocharged inclined six-cylinder gasoline engine offered in the SUV will give its rival some severe migraines. The engine promises to be very powerful and highly responsive, delivering a smooth driving experience to drivers. The 2024 CX-90 is Mazda's first new front engine, rear-drive chassis structure in decades, and is essentially an improvement on the CX-9. The SUV comes in different configurations and is offered as either a mild hybrid or a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. But it is the mild hybrid that is responsible for all the excitement in the industry. And this is because of its remarkable engine. But at a time when most companies are switching to fully electric vehicles, there must be a solid reason why Mazda is unveiling its most powerful gasoline engine yet. So watch this video until the end as we are going to discuss this industry-destroying engine, just how powerful it is, and why EV makers must be worried. The Mazda CX-90 Mild Hybrid features the most potent engine Mazda has ever produced. Called the eSky Active G3.3 liter turbo inline six engine, this beast is set to power its way on the highways. Interestingly, although it is called an eSky Active, with the E standing for electric, the engine is just a gasoline engine with a mild hybrid system. However, this setup optimizes performance and increases efficiency. The most powerful model of the SUV is capable of producing 340 horsepower and 369 pounds foot of torque when running on premium gasoline. On normal gasoline, it produces 319 horsepower. According to Mazda, the new inline-six engine was designed specifically for the new longitudinal platform on which the CX-90 is built. To compete favorably in the premium market segment, the company decided to build the CX-90 SUV on an all-new rear-drive platform. Its longitudinal geometry is longer than that of a four-cylinder or V6 engine, hence the choice of an inline-six. V6 engines will not fit properly into the engine bay since they are not as narrow as inline-sixes. The company is of the opinion that the super geometry will enhance the agility and handling of the vehicle. Mazda's choice of an inline-six cylinder isn't the only interesting thing about the engine. Most automakers have settled for 3.0 liters as their preferred displacement for their inline-six engines, but Mazda took it up a notch, going 10% larger by making the engine a 3.3 liter inline-six cylinder engine. This engine also features a 12-1 compression ratio, which for a boosted mill is quite high. Technically, the SUV is an electric hybrid since its 3.3 liter engine is mated with a 48 volt hybrid system that adds 17 horsepower and 119 pound foot of torque. But the CX-90 is not a car you can drive solely on electricity. However, the electric motors completely take over the propulsion of the vehicle at low speeds. Mazda also offers the SUV in a plug-in hybrid model with a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine capable of 323 horsepower. The plug-in hybrid features a 17.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack with an estimated range of 26 miles per full charge. The plug-in hybrid is also a first for Mazda, so it's no surprise that the car struggles, considering the length of time it takes to charge. On a normal home charging outlet of 120 volts, it's best left to charge overnight. Mazda, however, says that on a 240-volt connection, the car should charge from 20 to 80 percent in one hour and 30 minutes. Offered in a number of different configurations, the CX-90 is primarily a standard eight-speed automatic transmission. And like we have come to expect from Mazda, it is an all-wheel drive standard. We are quite excited by the impressive handling of the car, which is better than most in its class. Its steering is properly weighted, and the vehicle feels balanced. The interior of the three-row crossover is endowed with a stylish cabin and high-quality materials that allow for passenger comfort. It's a huge step up from the CX-9 that the CX-90 replaces. In the SUV, Mazda has designed a car with room for eight passengers and a more luxurious interior when compared with its competitors. Premium models of the car come with impressive suede dashboard upholstery and seats covered in soft Nappa leather. Base trims are not as fancy as the premium models, but they are also comfortably styled. 
Leather is standard for the seats in the SUV, apart from premium models where the more sophisticated Napa leather is used. Regardless of which trim size you go for, the interior is uncluttered, even though third row access compared to other vehicles in the segment is not quite convenient. Mazda has also chosen to stick with buttons, while other manufacturers are slowly phasing them out. Overall, the interior is accommodating, stylish, and very comfortable. Seats are also highly adjustable and well bolstered. Mazda has made sure to include modern and easy to navigate infotainment features. The car comes with a 12.3 inch digital center display screen. This infotainment display functions as a touchscreen with the features of standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but for the brand's own native Mazda Connect. It requires the use of buttons and the commander knob. The SUV also features a 12.3 inch digital gauge display positioned on the dashboard and controlled by a click wheel on the center console. Other technology features in the car include heated and cooled seats, multi-zone climate control, a heated steering wheel, a 12-speaker Bose premium stereo, a number of LED lighting options, powered driver's seats, and keyless entry, which comes standard. Passengers in the third row can also take advantage of the USB-C charging ports that have been provided. Though the infotainment setup of the CX-90 is a massive upgrade over the CX-9, there is still room for improvement when compared with some other three-row crossover SUVs. With its reputation for safety, we expected the SUV to be filled with advanced safety features and, as expected, Mazda did not disappoint. The 2024 CX-90 comes standard with iActiveEase driver assistance safety features to aid safer travel. Safety features in the SUV include blind spot monitoring, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian monitoring, adaptive cruise control, rear cross traffic monitoring, lane keeping systems, and many more. The brakes are also decent with emergency stopping being impressive. Customers would also have to keep an eye on the cargo space offered in the CX-90. It is the longest and widest vehicle in Mazda's lineup, but as regards cargo space, it falls far behind too many SUVs in its class, like the Honda Pilot, Hyundai Palisade, and Volkswagen Atlas. That is not to say the vehicle does not offer good enough cargo space. In fact, it is quite spacious. Depending on the seating arrangement, the SUV specifications vary. It offers a maximum of 15.9 cubic feet at the back of the third row, 40.1 cubic feet at the back of the second row, and 75.2 cubic feet when all the seats are dropped. The CX-90 has an EPA-estimated fuel economy of 25 miles per gallon, both in city and highway driving for its standard engine and the 3.3-liter engine. Compared to some three-row SUVs, that's really decent. We expect the plug-in hybrid to be the most efficient of all trim sizes, as the EPA estimates that it will cover a range of 26 miles of electric driving per full charge. With such an estimate, one begins to wonder if Mazda has made the right decision to invest so much in the production of a gasoline engine when the rest of the industry is switching to electric vehicles. Could Mazda be making a mistake? Share your thoughts in the comments section, and we will meet you in the next video.